Hello and welcome to Rage Gaming in a new Lords of Fallen video. With the launch of the game, you're likely under the way with your playthrough, but you might be wondering how to increase your power. The most straightforward way to do that is to upgrade the weapons you're using, just like any standard Souls-like. But how do you get a big pile of the resources you're going to need? And in fact, how do you even unlock the blacksmith, which apparently a lot of people have missed? Well, in this video, I'll be covering how you get that blacksmith, what you'll need to actually upgrade your weapons, and where to get yourself the materials for multiple plus five upgrades. So. Let's begin. I'm standing in the Skybridge hub, and just behind me on the left side of the hub, I have the blacksmith, which is unlocked and available for upgrading. I just need to speak with her and choose upgrade equipment, and then choose my weapon. At the top middle, you can see the different materials that are in the game. These are called derelium, and they're basically fragments. And you can see that there is a small one, a regular one, a big one, and a large one. Pretty standard stuff, with the small and regular ones ultimately capping out at plus five on a weapon, just like my falchion here that is at plus five. As you upgrade a weapon, it will improve the raw power of it, but also the scaling so your stat weights are actually going to matter even more. Let's begin with how to actually unlock this blacksmith and get her in your hub. In the bell room of the Vestige of Blind Agatha, this one found in Pilgrim's Perch, one of the earlier areas of the game, across from the Vestige is an elevator you'll need to activate, which is done by progressing the main path of this area. You literally need to go this way to fight the final boss of this area and region before you can move on, so it's not really something you can miss. Eventually you'll come around to an elevator which you can unlock which will bring you back to the shortcut to the Vestige. But now let's go down the elevator. All the way at the bottom where the elevator actually ends up there is a bunch of enemies and if you've got your audio on you'll hear a lot of barking at this point from the hounds that are below you. The room will look like this, we've got the elevator there and we look down and in that cage just below me is where we first encounter the blacksmith. The problem is she's locked up and we've got to free her. This special enemy here, this holy warrior, actually has the key, so you will need to defeat specifically him and loot him. Although, obviously, the hounds are going to be a problem, so clear them out. Once he's defeated, you've got the key, bring it to the blacksmith and interact with her, and through conversation, just give her the key and she'll be free. The next time you use, say, any of the bonfires, you'll reset the world and she'll be now in the hub. But if you come back here, the cell will now be open, allowing you to go in and loot the fragments that are on the ground. This is four of the small fragments, which gives you a lot of what you'll need for weapon upgrading to plus two. To get more of the small fragments, you'll find them everywhere in the early game. A lot of them will just drop from enemies as well as picking them up the ground. Honestly, I had more than I knew what to do with. Upgrading your weapons to plus two just uses these materials and you get a ton of them, so you should do that immediately without thought. If you somehow find yourself out of them though, Thekia here actually sells them. As you can see, he sells 10 small fragments for 500 each. If you for some reason don't have enough, you could trade with him. Although you first find him outside of Skybridge as you progress the game. Speak with him every time you see him, because he has a story to progress, and eventually he'll end up here in the hub. And as you can see, once he does, he begins selling the regular sized ones, which will get us to plus five, which I'll explain as we go. Next up then, the regular Derelium Nuggets, the main focus of this video. We're going to need a lot of these. You're going to need seven total to reach plus five on a weapon. The first upgrade is one, the second is two, and then the next one is four. But to get seven specifically, I'll show you the exact locations. Now, as I said, Thek will progress and eventually show up in the hub and begin selling the regular sized ones, up to 10 of them for 800 each. For a lot of people, that's going to be exactly what they need. But you don't have to spend all that, and we can get most of it, if not all of the ones you need on the way to unlocking him. To get him to reach the hub and actually start selling these, you need to reach the city of Lower Kalrath, this town that's entirely on fire. By reaching that place and interacting with the first prestige there called Sebastian, you progress time in a way that allows Thek to move through and finally enter the hub, at which point he starts selling these. But on the way to this point in the game, you can find seven easily. Let's start with the first one, which is right next to this prestige of Alade here. This is in the Forsaken Fen area, which is the area that follows after Pilgrim's Perch. Behind him is a cave with a shortcut that is basically a door you need to open from the other side. To do that initially you have to follow the main path and eventually come around to the other side of this kind of hill and come into the cave and open it from the other side, at which point you're ready. Make sure you two swap into the Umbral world so that you can pass through this area easier, there isn't water in the way, but also you're going to need to see a bone ladder which is not available unless you're in the Umbral world. So once you're in the Umbral world, see this ladder, climb it up, and on the right, in this crate right here, 
is going to be your first fragment. After that, we're going to go to the next area, Fitzroy's Gorge, where we're going to get the remaining six. This begins with this prestige that's just before you actually enter the gorge, which is the Pale Butcher one. If you follow the main route, it'll eventually come out into the gorge and follow this route to the left, kind of hanging left following the wall on that side, and you'll sort of climb a hill. Eventually, you'll come across a big fight with uh, two factions fighting one another. You just run past it, straight to the boss fight with Crimson Rector Percival. After you defeat him, there's actually a chest here to loot, but right next to that chest is two regular nuggets to grab once more. So now we have at least three. But also in this area is a shortcut that leads up to the hub. This long tower here, which actually has an elevator at the bottom. If you step on it, you'll have a really long elevator ride. But at the top, we'll reach the other side, which is Skyrest Bridge. And as you can see on the floor, is another two of those nuggets. And a gate doll you can open up, which actually brings us back to the Skybridge area, which works as a nice connection to the hub once more. With that, we should now have five. We just need two more. We can easily get those also here in the gorge instead of holding left from the initial waypoint and going uphill we're going to go right down the gorge following the valley down and down and down going past a lot of enemies and actually a lot of firehounds specifically eventually you'll hit a cave where you need to go into the umbra world or at least pull out your lamp to go through the gates and right here as you start passing through this area is some loot on the ground which is two more regular pieces bringing us now to a minimum of seven, which is what you'll need to get at least one level five upgraded weapon. If you happen to need more than that though, maybe you're running two weapons like me, let's finish this off. Simply progress this path through the cave and eventually you'll come to the other side where you'll be outside on a bridge with a nasty boss fight with an enemy called the Ruiner. It's a very cool fight with not much space to move. But once you've beaten that, you're basically there. We progress on from the bridge and eventually bump into a familiar boss, the Light Reaper, actually not long into this route, who will give you another one chance fight to win just like the start of the game if you fail and lose he will leave so you can just rerun the route without him interrupting this time so follow the main path which leads down and down and down to the town eventually entering via a ladder you'll come out into the burning city that is lower calrath just follow the main path briefly here to reach the prestige of sebastian at which point our merchant friend here will show up in the hub and now we can buy a bunch of different stuff from him which is really good but also the regular nuggets he sells a total of 10 for 800 each and this will be more than enough to get you a second weapon fully upgraded to plus five. I should also mention as a bonus tip that some enemies will actually have a chance to drop these regular sized fragments at this point in the game. For example, the Fire Sword Prelates, I believe they're called, that you face in the early game, they're now going to be all around Calrath. So you could farm them there because they have a chance to drop these materials. But also the Marksman and Avowed that we face in the Gorge, they can drop them too. But there you have it. That's my guide to getting the Blacksmith unlocked and how to reach mid-level upgrades of plus five without any issue. Hopefully you'll now have access to more than you'll ever need and can move on to the higher level upgrades smoothly. If this video has helped you, then do drop a like on it. And also, if there's anything we've missed in this video, like other fragment locations or other farm routes you might suggest, then you can drop those in the comments. Maybe you'll help someone. But for now, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye